Welcome back to the show. Tammy and Jason stepped away. You know, I think they're doing some ghost hunting. There are no ghosts here. No, I keep hearing this young female laughing. No, and I know she knows what it's all about. No, but she does not laugh. Oh, she does. Well, she does not laugh when we're doing the show. No, right. she does not. No, I laugh, and you do not either. It's like I'm the only one who laughs here. So, uh, anyways, we're going to do letters while they're away doing that thing, and uh, because they send us mail, and if we don't read it, then more ghosts will come, right? If you say so. That's what I think. I predict these things. I have a letter from Warren, Michigan. Warren, Michigan. I've never been. Have you? No. I bet it's a lovely place. And it is from, oh, it's a handwritten script note. Lee Dillon in Warren, Michigan. Zip code 48091, in case you were wondering. All right, and he goes, uh, Vincent, Mr. Livingston, and Tangela, the movies you show are great, and the three of you are awesome, and I just started to watch many of your different programs on my cell phone. On his bloody cell phone. No, you, you cannot watch our program on a cell phone. It's like the size, my head is the size of a postage stamp on your telephone. He needs to watch it on a proper television, right? Or a computer. A computer? Oh, what in God's name is he going to do it on a computer for? Bigger screen. Well, maybe it's bigger than a cell phone, but it's not like a television. Anyways, Lee, you need to watch something bigger. Get like a, a Roku or an Apple TV device. Then you can watch this huge on your large television. He goes on. This is great entertainment and what people need to enjoy and have the best of television programming. Lee Dillon. Well, that was a wonderful note, Lee, and I'm just sad that you're watching us so tiny. You know, this this bloke's what, six foot four? Six four, six five. Six foot four, six foot five, he doesn't know, but on your phone, he's only like 17 centimeters, right? More like eight. Eight centimeters, all right. Thanks for writing, Lee. Email and from Illinois. Email from Illinois. This is from Rick Robinson in Dalzell. Not Dalzell, Dalzell. He goes, Dear Creature Features, just wanted to tell all three of you how much I enjoy your show. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next weekend. Well, thank you, Rick. And uh, that's a very kind of you to say. I hope everything's well in Dalzell, Illinois. That's a lot of L's. Is he coming to visit? I don't know. I wonder how much I enjoy your show. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next weekend. Maybe, maybe he is coming out. We should maybe roll out the red carpet for Rick, right? And now we have a package. A package. And I believe it's, it doesn't say where it's from. Where it's from. Well, you know, if you cannot read where it's from, it's from Albuquerque, New Mexico, ah. mind you, you should read how much they paid in postage, right? That's almost as interesting as where it's idea. from. Oh, my goodness. This is not for me. In fact, the box says to Tangela. It does. And she did not catch that. She's sitting there with a the bear all sad. How are you? You look sad with that bear. Oh, it's a rabbit. I thought it was a bear. You know, it's got fangs. I've never seen a rabbit with fangs. She all right. Well, tell you actually. what. Let's give this to you so you can open this. And I shall read the card. Oh, there's a... Oh, this person makes these. All right. And then there's this note. Oh, this is a lot of stuff. How did you get so much into a tiny envelope? What is it? It's, a bag. it's like a book bag, right? That's lovely. And what's on? It's got ravens on it. Indeed. That's beautiful. All right. We'll read the card first. Tangela, you are my favorite hatchet lady. Love are, which is whom? I don't have a name yet. We're getting there. I bet it's in this note. You know, some of these people who send packages make things so complicated with all the paperwork. All right, Robert. Robert Teal. Did he misspell his own name? No. Well, there's no T on Robert. Robert. Robert would have a T as well. True. Yeah, this man is not as smart as he claims he is on LinkedIn. All right, here we go. Dear Tangela, first off, say hello to Vincent Livingston and your favorite, Andrew. 
Hendrew is not her favorite, in case you did not notice. Her favorite victim. Favorite victim, true. You all make movie watching a treat. Also, I give a big shout out to the crew behind the scenes. There is, you know, they're overworked and underpaid. So a shout out to them is always good. I have sent you this bag I made in hopes you can find a thousand and one uses for it around the manor. Your impish smile is a pleasure to see beneath those charming dreadlocks you call hair. Keep up the ghoulish antics and have a wonderful day. Yours most admiringly, Robert Teal. You know, make her another one that can hold a skull. Because she, you know, she doesn't walk around with books. She walks around with bloody skulls. But uh, no, this is beautiful. Great work. She has some magic spell He's books. got an actual business. He sent his card. And it says, bags for your needs. Cards, hmm. bags, custom utilities. And it is Robert Teal. I don't see a website. My goodness, Robert. See, look, he put the T here. It's Robert. Ah, the lost T. Right? But he's got no website. All right, well, look up Robert Teal and you will find out uh, this gent who makes the bags. That it? That's it. That is it for mail. If you'd like to send us mail of your own, send it to the address you see appearing by my boot. Or if you'd like to send a lovely handsmade bag to Tangella, use the address you see right here. We'll be right back with Tammy and Jason, but first let's get back to the ghost. Hi, my name is Noah, and I'm from Bahuska, and mainly I just love your show. And mainly I think you should start making more shows, and mainly I'm watching this show, and it's called The Walking Dead. Mainly you should really make a zombie one, because I've not seen a zombie one yet. And bye. 